Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the easy way to add mega scans in Fab in Unreal Engine 5. So as many of you know that we used to have Bridge by Quixel, which is no longer the case. And now we have moved over to Fab, which comes with a few more features. And it's not only exclusive to mega scans, but you can also add in any projects or assets that you have. So when you head over to your Unreal launcher, just go ahead and head over to library. And then under the Fab library, make sure you have the Fab UE plugin installed. Go ahead and click install to engine and look for the version that you're looking to install for. So I'm going to add mine to a 5.5 version. So simply clicking install the plugins, you can see the Fab UE plugin over here. It's already installed to my Unreal Engine 5.5. And then I'm just going to go ahead and open a third person project in Unreal Engine. So the easy way to just simply add mega scans into your project is I have this default third person map. Head over to Windows, and then you'll see this Fab icon. If you don't see it, you may have to go over to Edit, Plugins, just type in Fab, make sure Fab is enabled. It'll probably ask you to restart, so go ahead and do that. And now with Windows selected, go ahead and open Fab. And now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna expand this window like so. And I'm actually just gonna go ahead and search for Quixel. And it's gonna show me a ton of things related to Quixel that may not even be Quixel itself. So in order to fix that, I'm just gonna head over to Creators, and then click on Quixel at the top here. So now it'll say from Quixel. And you can pretty much add whatever you want as long as you have claimed all the assets, which is still free to do for the rest of this year. So you can simply click on whichever one you want and then hit add to project like so. And you may get this error saying asset is not compatible. You can still go ahead and add the 5.4 version. And now it's gonna go ahead and say downloading Medieval Banquet into my project. There'll be a progress bar right under it. And another thing we can do is simply just head over to these singular assets, and you can just go ahead and actually grab it. So you'll see this hand icon. The second you start grabbing it, even if you let go, it will get saved over in your folder. So as you can see, when I click Fab, Mega Scans 3D, it'll show that beach boulder that I just grabbed for the beach rock. And then I can also go ahead and just drag this in. So you can see this beach rock is kind of just placed in the middle here. I can scale it up. And you can easily kind of just drag in assets and really make whatever environment you want. At this point, I'm not really trying, I'm just dragging in whatever to show you that it can be simply just that easy. And let's say you want to kind of stick to a specific topic or genre for Quixel. I can just go ahead in the search and then type in something like Nordic, for example. I know they have a bunch of Nordic based themes, textures and assets and so on. And you can just go ahead and let me just drag this onto the ground. It may not look the prettiest. Yep, as I expected, I'm going to undo that. But I can go ahead and add these assets that are kind of in tune with the same theme, just as an example, like so. So this is the Nordic stuff. As you can see, everything has the word Nordic Forest in front of it. And you can go ahead and see the amazing quality these assets provide. And the scene, the banquet scene is now downloaded, so I can just go ahead and go to Maps and actually just open this. I'll just go ahead and save everything in this project that I've dragged in. And this is what the medieval banquet scene looks like. And they do have a public roadmap that is available in the description below. They're going to be showing what they're working on. So there are a ton and ton of assets that are planned to come to mega scans, such as these medieval settlement ruins, the beach, marble quarries, pipes, and so on. Just a ton and ton in the works by them. And there's also quite a few that are in progress, as you can see here, such as interior construction, water purification plants, gemstones, and so on. And then the ones that have been recently released can be seen under the release tab. So for example, one of the new ones that I saw a video on, or the one that I just went over was a medieval banquet. And then also the African slate quarry is one that just kind of came out pretty recently. So I'll go ahead and show you how to download that. And now after adding this to the project, I can head over to my files on the left and I'll see the scene quarry slate. I'll go ahead and open the map and it will show up exactly as so. So when it shows up, when you open the map, it'll show up in this kind of default level with some, uh, Kind of factory looking lighting you can also see how the lighting affects the environment and yeah overall a pretty quick and easy tutorial on how to use quixel mega scans in unreal engine 5. thanks for watching code of the Row. like subscribe and see you in the next video thanks for watching